Right, now today I'm going to show you how to set up a PGP key uh, without actually downloading any software. <coughs> a PGP key is mainly used uh, on the Darknet, uh, basically is an encryption tool that you can send sensitive information like your address. So if you're buying stuff for, from the Darknet um, and you want to send your address over, um, then you would encrypt your message and the other person would uh, would decrypt it. Um, the base, the easiest way to do it is to put into Google iGolder, as you can see there. It will be the first link that actually comes up, right? So that's iGolder.com. Um, that's just a little notice. Don't not not to worry about that. Um, right. Uh, PGP key generator you can see up there you don't need to click anything it's already there it's the second one PGP key generator um, right now what you want to do is it doesn't have to be necessarily a real email address you can use you know anyone you want so if I just for example put fake um, fake email uh, 55 at gmail.com I really apologize I'm typing so slow I'm trying to hold uh, this camera as well um, right now you just put the passphrase is really important because that's what you're gonna need um, when you actually encrypt and decrypt things so you're gonna need your password that could be anything for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna put one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten and then it's gonna uh, generate you well, you click generate. I'm not going to save that. Um, right, we're gonna wait. If if you're wondering why I have a Rizla on my camera, that's because I use um, the dark net and uh, for various reasons. You and uh, I might I may do a video about this why I do it. But if you Google it. Um, the advice would be to cover your camera and then you'll find the an next place as to why right so here we have your pgp private key and your pgp public key right one second right the reason why i just paused that is because i opened uh, the text editor and i had some sensitive information there so what you need to do basically is to to um to keep these in a safe place really so you wanna you wanna put it in a text file. I wouldn't. Uh, I'd make sure it was quite uh, secure. So we wanna save those both. We wanna put them both there. Um, right now, what we want to do is to go up there and encrypt the message. Now, obviously, again, for the purpose of this video, um, we are going to use our own public key. And um, this is what you would use on the dark net. You'd put your, um, when you registered, it would give you an option for a 2FA, which is two-factor authentication. So every time you log in, uh, you'd have to decrypt a message. So you put a public key there, message to encrypt. You can type whatever you want to type there. So I'm just going to put that there. Um, now I'm just going to click on encrypt message um, and then it will give me the encrypted message here um, so that was that's what they would receive um, then you'd want to, if you want to decrypt it paste okay um, we're going to put that in there where it says PGP encrypted message and then this is where we need our private key. Now you don't want to tell anyone your private key. You want to get it nice and secure. You want to even make a backup on it on it on a USB drive. So you put that there. So yeah, so you put that there, and we put in our password that we used, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press decrypt. And then the message is there. That is what we put. I've no idea why this is showing up, but that is the main message. So when you log into a darknet market, and uh, 
it gives you a, a PGP uh, to decrypt. So that's what you would do. And also when you're sending sensitive information. Now this is a very, uh, an online tool. So you don't actually need any software. Very simple to use. Um, and adds an extra layer of security for you when you're on the dark net. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, one thing I want to say is I've posted a few videos now about an, the anti-detect browser um, and some other things. If you have uh, received some knowledge and, and you find my videos useful, um, there's a, some. A, I'd like you to read the description on this video um, and hopefully you can help me as well. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.